ordered some clothes from the Aritzia clientele sale. I'll show you guys my haul. The only time I ever order from Aritzia is during this um, sale just because it is they are very expensive but I found from last year's sale I still wear all of the pieces that I bought last year just because they're such really good quality. I try to buy clothes that I know that I'll be able to rewear over and over again the basics and stuff uh this first one i got the tna atmosphere flare high rise leggings so i got these because they come in short length which is really nice because i'm only five foot and um, i do have a pair of these leggings i got from amazon that i really do love but they're just so long so i like the fact that these come in different lengths so that's really nice and i got the Divinity, D Divinity um, jumpsuit and you guys know I bought the black one but it's like the longer length um, last year and I love it I like wear it all the time and I got this really pretty green color and then I got this top crop top I was kind of worried about the sizing so I don't know if I got the right size but it's pretty we'll, we'll see and then I wanted to pick up a couple dresses because I don't really have that many that fit me <laughs> as of right now so I wanted to get some for the summertime so I got this green one I just really love green lately I got this little tank it's like black and ribbed I got the same one but in white this plain tee it's like in this pretty navy color I got the shorts in navy as well. These are the cozy perfect high rise, I believe. I bought um, a bunch of these land shorts uh, during last year's sale and I love them so much. And then lastly, I got this dress, another green dress, but it's so pretty, you guys. It's like a midi dress and it's in this beautiful like sage green color. It's very silky. That's my Aritzia haul.
sightings for us. I think it's right here. know if you guys can relate but I ordered a um, hazelnut soy latte and I was gonna say iced at the end but she was already grabbing the hot cup and then I felt bad so I started fighting myself in my mind I'm like should I should I correct her or should I not and then I ended up not correcting her so <laughs> I'm gonna pour this over ice because I want it iced it's gonna be watery now but it's fine Damn, this boy thick. Mmm. No. No. I just finished the book that I was reading. I was doing a buddy read with a couple of my friends on Instagram, Ingrid, Sally, and uh, Robin. This book was really good. I give it five stars. It's been a while since I've read a romance book that I like really, really loved. So I'm about to go ahead and annotate it. I made a lot of tabs, as you can see. besties it's me ending the vlog but I wanted to end it with a book haul I've been dying to share with you guys some books that I've been buying the last couple months it's not too much but of course I really don't need any more books but I just keep buying them and buying them but <laughs> starting with Barnes & Noble I bought from their Memorial Day sale so about 
a little less than a month ago. The book I got was One For My Enemy by Olive Blake. I really, I was intrigued by this just because of the cover. I loved the white and the red. And you guys, there's pictures on the inside of the book. And I'm just a sucker for these kind of books or special editions or whatever because I just think they're so pretty. Good addition to my collection. So I got this. I'm reading one of her books right now. To be honest, I'm not enjoying it as much. I think I just really have to continue reading it. I got King of Pride, Anna Huang. I'm currently on the fourth book of the Twisted series, so the last in the series, and then I'm gonna start reading King of Wrath, but I got this. So I got the second book in that series. I'm really excited to start it. And then I got Bully by Penelope Douglas. I've already read this book. I read it last year. Funny story is the only reason why I bought it in Barnes and Noble is because they had like a brand new cover. So I don't know if she got picked up by like a new publisher or something, but um, I bought it because it was a completely different cover than this one. I don't like covers with real people on it, which is why I never bought the book. I read it on my Kindle, but unfortunately when I received it, it was the same cover that I've always seen before. So that's kind of disappointing, but I really, really want to reread this. And I also want to say that Penelope Douglas is not for everyone. I know a lot of people have like mixed feelings about her. I personally really love her. I've loved all the books that I've read from her and I haven't read one of her books in a long time which I probably should, but I really do want to reread this. You guys just like easy reading, romance, a little bit of like a, the darker romance side, just good smut, then I would recommend her. I really love her and I miss her books. And I got two books from Target. They were having the buy one or no, buy two, get one free on books, games, I think music and movies or something. I couldn't find a third book, so I actually bought a game, Tapel, so that's gonna be fun to play. But yeah, I got two books. I got Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. But I love the cover of this one, it's super cute. The guy has tattoos, as you can see. And then I also got Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. I've heard really good things about this as well. It's just a fictional novel. It's gonna be an interesting read. So really excited to start that. If you guys read any of those books, let me know how you like them because I'm really, really excited. That's pretty much all for this vlog. I just wanted to show you guys uh, my haul, of course. I know I'm kind of just jumping in here, not explaining why I've been gone for like, what? How long has it been? Like four months? Maybe even more? I don't know, but I'm not gonna get into it. Long story short on where I've been, I've been healing pretty much, just working on myself. Like I said, working on my mental health. Social media is definitely something that can be really draining. So I think that's kind of why I needed to take a step back from social media, but I really do miss vlogging and talking to you guys. I'm hoping that I can continue making more vlogs because I missed you guys. So that's pretty much that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.